Hi, my name is Ken Duda. I run the software group at Arista Networks, and I'd like to talk to you today about a new feature in, in Arista's EOS operating system that I'm very excited about. It's called Zero Touch Provisioning, or ZTP. And this feature fits in within the larger context of Arista's vision for automation within cloud networks, within the cloud data center. Within the cloud, one of the key advantages is having uniformity in the way the network is structured. So one can provision rackfuls of identical switches and identical servers, and then deploy virtual machines on top of this, migrating the workload to wherever the available compute and network resources are. And in that kind of environment, there's not a lot of need for customization of each individual switch for its application, obviously, because the applications can move around. So without all of this diversity, it becomes very attractive to automate the entire process. But then the question arises, how do you automate the configuration of a switch? When you get a switch from the vendor, you plug it into the network, you've got to log in through its serial port, assign an IP address, and all those sorts of things, right? Well, not with zero-touch provisioning. You can simply take the switch, plug it into the rack, connect its uplinks, connect its downlinks, turn it on, and walk away, and the switch will start by DHCPing an address from your infrastructure. If the DHCP response contains the correct options, the switch will then fetch its configuration and its software image from the server of your choice. Then it stores the configuration, reboots to the new configuration, and your network is up and running without any manual intervention. And this may sound like something that network switches have been doing for a while, but Arista ZTP is different in two important ways. And they're a little subtle, but they're, they make a big operational difference. The first is that the config file option isn't just a TFTP file name anymore. It's a general URL. So you can fetch your configuration via typically HTTP or a number of other protocols such as FTP or RCP and so on. The advantage of fetching via HTTP in particular is then when the switch hits the web server, it provides some metadata, like the switch's model number, IP address, MAC address, and uh, serial number, so that then the uh, cloud provisioning station can then configure that specific switch in a specific position in the network. Uh, then the second key difference is that instead of taking just a configuration file, the, the data that gets transferred from the cloud provisioning station can include a general CLI scripts, basically executables that run on the switch, which can do any of a number of things, including downloading a new software image, downloading new extensions, performing any other management actions that are specific to initialization, and then saving the config and resetting the device. And this way, in one step, you get the complete software image as well as the configuration. So uh, we're very hopeful that ZTP will be useful to you in setting up your network, and you're very welcome to contact our fuel organization for any questions specific to your deployment. Thank you very much.